Um, there was recently there was like a you guys had a uh, you guys had an issue with the security right that that happened. This is a few days yeah. ago maybe, where they had a guy who was a like it looked like he was. Uh, here we go. Armed man arrested at RFK Jr. campaign event in Los Angeles. Was this guy armed and supportive of you or was he armed and it seemed like he was against you? Or was there, did you have any take on this? He was, he showed up and he asked, um, he, uh, he was wearing a, a U.S. Marshal badge. You can see it in some of the, he was wearing a lanyard. You can see the lanyard around his neck there. And at the end, at yeah. the end of that is a badge mm -hmm. that identified him as a U.S. Marshal. Mm -hmm. And then he had a federal ID on his belt. Okay. You can see there. Yeah. Right? He has some other kind of badge on his belt. And you see the badge around his neck. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that was determined to be fake. Mm. And somebody from my Gavin De Becker Associates, which is was doing is doing my security. They won't, you know, the White House will not give me Secret Service protection. So I, you know, I've I've retained this this group that's the premier security group in the country. And they um and one of their guys looked at that badge and said that's too shiny. Wow. It, it's not it's not a real badge. Yeah. And so then they he why he called somebody else who was armed mm -hmm. and the two of them cornered him and then they called the police and they kept him in the corner. They didn't want to grab him because they didn't want to start a shootout. And they could see that he had shoulder holsters on. Jeepers. And so then the police came and, and arrested me. He was asking for me. Oh, he was looking for me. And he uh, he had two shoulder holsters with oh. that were fully loaded uh, pistols, and then he had you can see that badge on his hip. Yeah, he's badged up, huh? Yeah, and then he uh, and he had he was also had a backpack that had another weapon in it, <gasps> another gun, like a sword. He also had knives on him, oh, and he had a lot of extra um, magazines filled with ammunition. So. He said afterwards, apparently his brother said, oh, he heard there was a job opening for security, but you don't go to a job opening for security with you know, <laughs> all those magazines yeah. and guns and knives and two, three pistols. Yeah, his yeah, brother yeah. who brought him there also was like, you know, like an armory. So right. They had a whole car filled with, with weapons. Wow. So I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what he was looking for, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> the thing that you should do is go on his YouTube. Uh huh. I mean, his uh, TikTok. Yeah. He has a TikTok site that he just opened. So he only has one TikTok video mm -hmm. on it. And it's of him just before he comes to see me. Really? Yeah. Let's see and that it, if you can find it. Nick will find it. It is. Uh, yeah, it, it cuz some people want to show end up of that, at the end of that thing oh. he says something to the effect of I'm going out to do a job right now and if I don't come back, you know, it's uh if I don't come back report to your commander Donald J Trump your commander in chief. So it's a very kind of okay, well, you want to watch this it's about a minute. Yeah. It's worth watching. Let's watch it. You got to turn the sound up. Oh shit, big homie Zoro over here. I think this is his brother Zorro. talking to him. Yeah. Yeah. More like God's gangster. Shit, I hear you're the man with the plan. What's shit. the word? I got it all. Actually, there's too much to tell you right now. So I want you guys to go over to Rumble, check out Icons 2020, Sarge. I will be speaking with him and Alex Collier. You're not retiring, homie. You didn't fucking ask me, dog. I need you, sport. Okay, so this guy's not doing well, huh? No. Oh, yeah. My name is this Adrian guy ain't doing well. Paul. And this could be also be an advertisement for Rumble. First name. A. <laughs> -E I'm not joking. Really I would see him go to something like this. Okay, I think I've seen enough, but I, yeah, I get it. So this guy's like, yeah. Last name. A. I. -E in the end, he does this little, you know, kind of. Let's see the end. Can we see the end? by police. Yeah, show the last. I don't know, 10 seconds. Here we go. If I don't make it back, call the fucking president, your commander in chief, Donald J. Trump. 
And where's he going? I didn't even see a door over there when it was a wide shot. <laughs> so that's the weird part of he's just walking just over the like by some tool chests. Wow. I mean, look, dude, just be, well, I don't know. Be, I don't know. Yeah, I, you don't have y'all don't have the best track record with like no. you know. You mean the family? Yeah. I don't want to say that, but yeah, I mean, and yeah, I shouldn't have said it like that, but you know, it's like is it more scary? I, but you can't live in fear. What are you going to no, do? I'm, I'm not going to live in fear. Yeah. I, I, you know. Yeah. It is what it is. And, um, you know, but but the, the White House should definitely be giving me Secret Service. Well, can I, you I'm save your first, receipts? I'm and if the, you get in there, can the, you get reimbursed or not? What? Can you, no. Oh, yeah. No, so, and I think that's what they're up to, that they want to, you know, bleed me white, essentially, you know, from money perspective. But... Um, they, I'm the first candidate in history that has requested Secret Service protection. They they haven't given to, but is, do they give it to you this early? Because I read oh, somewhere that they don't. Here's what because the the press has been dishonest about this. You're entitled to it. They have to give it to you 120 days out from the before the the general election. If what? What circumstances? They, they, uh, to all candidates, 120 days out. Okay. It, well, you have to have a certain polling number, but I've I've surpassed all the thresholds by far. Okay. So, um, but f like my uncle Teddy was given uh, Secret Service protection 551 days out. But and he was also a poly. He was like a lifelong politician. Oh, he was a he was a politician, but he wasn't even running for president. He. He was talking about running for president against a president of his own party like me, so Carter. See. But Carter said, you better protect him right away. Right. And even though he hadn't officially declared the him Secret Service protection, Obama got it 450 days out. Uh, John McCain got it you know, four or 500 days out. I'm, I think I'm like 300 days out now. Jesse Jackson got it, Shirley Chisholm. You go down, there's probably 30 of them who've yeah. all gotten it long before the 120 days. Okay. And I get, you know, I mean, we gave them a 68-page. Um, yeah, I remember uh, reading about that. Six, yeah. And why you should have it? Yeah, with Phil, because I get death threats all the time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had a, a mentally ill person. I break into my house a month ago and and make oh, it to the second yeah. floor. No, are you at your house? Yeah. So, oh my God! You know, I mean, so I, I, they should. You would think that the president would. Uh, yeah, don't if you know Biden, can't you just t like ask him? Well, we're not on talking terms at the moment. Okay. Damn, that's a bummer. Yeah, because you think you'd be able to hit him up and be like Joey, you know. Yeah. I'll trade you an ice cream for a couple of front door goons, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A couple of sharpshooters, dude. I bet you trade, you send him a box of mint chocolate chip, buddy, you'll get whatever you want. You think? Yeah, it could be. I mean, sh you know, I think every man loves to have a dessert. Um, <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that video. And you can watch another. And you can watch this one. You can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.